molecular modeling. Today we will discuss the commonly used instruments in obstetric and gynecology. First comes the artery forceps, which is used as a hemostate. It is used during hemorrhage for clamping bleeding vessels. Artery forceps is also used to grab and maneuver the delicate tissues. Another important instrument is that of the cuscus or bipole speculum. The gynecological instruments of the cuscus speculum in include examination of vagina and cervix in case of abnormal vaginal bleeding and to take the cervical smear in case of the cervical cancer screening and to insert or remove the IOCD. The obstetric indications include to diagnose p prom in case of the PV leaking and to exclude the local causes of APH. Another important instrument is that SIM speculum that is used to examine the anterior vaginal wall for the diagnosis of vesicovaginal fistula and to diagnose the pelvic organ prolapse. A very important point is that patient needs to be in left lateral or in SIMS position while we are examining her with the SIMS speculum. Next comes the IR spatula that is used for taking the pap smear sample for screening of the carcinoma of the cervix. Uterine curate is a very important instrument that is used to take an endometrial sample in case of abnormal vaginal bleeding and to detect ovulation in case of infertility by detection of the secretory changes in the endometrium. It is also used to remove the decidua for evacuation in case of the abortion and miscarriages. It is also used to remove the retained product for conception in case of PPH. The complications of uterine keratogen include permanent amenorrhea, Asherman syndrome, endometriosis and complications of uh, cervical trauma. Another very important instrument is that of the uterine sound that is used to measure the length of uterine cavity and to know the position and direction of uterus in case of retroversion. It is associated with certain complications like shock due to pain, perforation of the uterus, ascending infection, and abortion if introduced into the pregnant uterus. Hagrid's dilator is another very important instrument that is used to dilate the cervix for under GA or paracervical block. And it is also used for induction of the liver or for taking the cervical biopsy. It is used during curatage or hysteroscopy and to diagnose the cervical incompetence. The complications related to hagodilators include cervical trauma that may lead to cervical incompetence or uterine perforation. Another complication is that of the bleeding due to cervical laceration. Rubin's scannula is another very important instrument that is used to inject a dye into the cervix to perform hysterosalpingogram (HSD) to detect the potency of fallopian tubes in cases of infertility and also used for the diagnosis of cervical incompetence, congenital anomalies of the uterus like Asherman syndrome. In fact, Asherman syndrome is acquired abnormality. The congenital abnormalities include the uterine septal defect like biceptate or didelphic uterus. Next come the dissecting forceps, which include first of all the plane forceps and that is used to grasp the different tissues during surgeries and also for holding the sutures and needles. Another surgical instrument is that the dissecting forceps, which is tooth and it is used to handle tissues and different materials. It is also used to manipulate needles and other instruments while operating. Now we will talk about ventus for the vacuum delivery. Now, the indications include delay in second stage of the labor, fetal distress, and certain other indications which you can study from our CG guideline about assisted vaginal births. The requirements include full dilatation of the cervix, fetal head engagement, and good uterine contractions. There are certain contraindications like fetal scalp bleeding, less than 34 weeks of gestation, and malpresentations, etc. We have long curved forceps and the indications include first of all maternal exhaustion, prolonged second stage, oxygen posterior position and it is also used for manipulating the after coming head in case of the breech delivery. Next come the cheetal forceps. It is used to remove the sterilized instruments from boilers and formalin cabinet. Basically, the purpose of cheetal forceps is to ensure that every item is removed and other remained are not infected and all forceps when not in use are placed in container of methylated spirits. Ohm forceps is also very important. It is used to remove the product of conception to and to evacuate the uterus after abortion.
The complications of using ovum forceps include perforation of the uterus and it has no lock. The volcellum forceps is used to grasp the cervical lips and to grasp a fibroid polyp. And it should not be used during pregnancy due to the risk of bleeding. Another important instrument is that of the sponge holder forceps, which are used to remove gauzes during sterilization and cleaning of skin before surgery. And for the removal of ICD and to grasp the anterior cervical lip during the removal of the product of the conception as the volcellum forceps causes the bleeding due to high vascularity of the cervix during the pregnancy. The cocker forceps is used to perform the artificial rupture of membrane for the induction of the labor and to hold the sheets of the rectus sheath during the cesarean section. Another instrument is that of the papicock forceps that is used to hold soft tissues like bowel appendix or fallopian tubes during abdominal surgery. Peanut fetal scope is also very important in obstetric and that is used to auscultate the fetal heart sounds. The last one is that of the alice forceps that is used to hold peritoneum during cesarean section and to remove the cervical polyps and it is also used during tubal ligation and abdominal hysterectomy it has lock and tooth ends three teeth on one hand and two teeth on the other side so thank you so much that was something about different kinds of instruments used in obstetric and gynecology subscribe on absent gyne allah hafiz